Well kia ora folks and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I've built my own recycling centre for storing all your recyclables. I've also got a cubby hole here and a large trash can. For this project I use 2x2 two two framing timber. The gentleman at the lumber yard kindly cut each length in half of me, making it a lot easier to fit in the van. Back at the shed I began by measuring these recycling bins which I bought from the local council. They come in two different colours so I got two of each. I measured all of the pieces that I'd need to build a simple frame so that I could cut them all at once. And then with my miter saw I cut them. As you can see here there are three different lengths and I cut four at each length. I used my joiner jig to put pocket holes in each end of these 12 bits of timber. By doing everything all at once it made assembly quick and easy. I designed this unit to be quite tall so that I could leave a decent gap between each of the council recycling bins. This way you can access them without any hassles. I built two large rectangles and then I joined them together using the shorter pieces. Alrighty, well now that I've built the skeleton for this recycling station, I can sort of get an overall sense of how big it's going to be. I'm going to put a beam here, and one at the back, as well as here and here, and then I can put some runners on it that these bins can just slide in and out of. Now remember, I did want to leave a gap between the bins so that you can easily put stuff into them. That's why it looks so big. So that bin's going to sit about there. So there'll be four of these bins. One there, one there, one here, and one there. And then I'll put another beam there where we can sort of have a trash can or something like that for things that are not recyclable. The weather was starting to look nasty at this point so I moved everything inside the shed. Then my parents arrived which was perfect because it was time for a cup of tea anyway. After our cup of tea and chin wag, I measured where the rails for each recycling bin would go. I made the rails from a piece of 2 by one I then clamped everything in place so that I could do a test fit. Luckily I did, because these plastic tabs on the undersides of each bin were preventing the bins from sitting on the rails correctly. So of course, we just cut them off. I screwed the rails on and then double checked to make sure that the bins still fit. That's perfect. I decided to put some caster wheels on the unit just in case we ever wanted to move it anywhere. Here I'm screwing a board on each end to attach the wheels to. It wasn't until I was editing this that I noticed that the vibrations from the drill were shaking the camera. Now let's see how the camera handles the impact driver. Hey, where did you go? I screw the wheels on using a combination of tech screws and coach bolts. I cut all the timber for the back wall and then pre-drilled all the holes to prevent the timber from splitting. For this project I'm just using fence palings to clad the unit, as they're not too expensive. I then screwed all the fence palings down and I used plenty of screws in each paling so this thing is super solid. 
Alrighty, so that's the back on now. I'm just going to put the sides on, the roof on, and I'm still deciding what to do with the front, whether I want to put some doors on here or just frame it off nicely with a little bit of trim. So I've got a couple of offcuts here, which I think were from the bed project. I'm going to put a floor on this section here, and then we can put a bin of some description on there, maybe even a wheelie bin. It doesn't need a floor under here, it's a bit unnecessary, so I'm not going to bother putting a floor there. So for the floor in this section, I've had to cut out a couple of notches in each end board, just so that they fit around the vertical pillars here, as you can see. Just cut them out using the jigsaw, slot them in, now I'm going to drill them and screw them down. So we're about halfway through the build now and I've realised that I've made a bit of an error in my design. When you pull the bins out and they're empty, they just come out nice and neat. But when you put a bit of weight in them, they actually sort of pull them a little bit like this. So when you go to pull them out, they don't sit on the runners as well as I intended them to. They slip off. I solved this problem by adding a 10mm piece of wood to the middle rails. Now the recycling bins are a snug fit. Then it was time to finish off cladding the unit. I put an internal wall in to further hide the rubbish bin. And I put a trim all the way around the front edges. I also put the roof on. At about this point the battery on my drill went flat, so while I was waiting for it to charge I got my father to modify some hinges so that I could make a neat looking door. I also got him to make an old spanner into a door handle. I got out my trusty rustic oak stain and stained up the unit. I also spray painted the handle and the hinges with a matte black spray paint to finish them off. I made a really simple door off camera and then I screwed that on with the hinges that my dad had modified. I also added some stop blocks for the door and a little latch. Well that's another good project done, I'm really glad that I've got this completed. After all that hard work, I think I deserve one of these. 
If you did like the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. But right now, I'm going to go and enjoy this. Thank <laughs> you.